This is a special job we're working on here at the studio. It's going to be a brand new drawing book. We produce many of these to help young people learn to draw. Here are some of the drawings that go into the book. We try to keep them as simple as possible because when you clutter up a drawing with too many lines, it just doesn't look good. We draw just enough lines to make the character come to life. Let me show you a few things to remember in drawing. In the first place, you use a soft pencil and do not hold it too tightly and draw loosely. Usually when you're just learning to draw, you do it this way. You make your lines too carefully and you press down too hard. Now let's see one of our studio artists at work. See how smoothly he works. First he sketches out the general outline of the figure and then fills in the details later. Here's a picture of Woody that will be in the book. On one of our programs, I showed you how we draw this red-headed rascal. Do you remember how we did it? First we draw a circle and put two ovals inside it. Two lines make the bill. Then we put in the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth. The next thing is to add the top knot, then the neck. Now the body is made as a simple outline. All we have to do now is to put in a few details to give Woody his familiar personality. And there he is, ready for action. Not bad, boss. Not bad. He wouldn't be satisfied no matter how perfect we made him. Now how about a quick trip around the studio to see what the other artists are doing? This artist is working on 